So it is the end of 2017 and I have a bunch of top five videos that I'm gonna be posting on my channel. In this video, I'm gonna cover my top five Nike pickups in 2017. What is going on guys, Hess here from CollectiveKicks.com and yes, I have the same shirt on, but I'm trying to knock out a couple of these videos while the kid is out so I can do both, be a YouTuber and be a dad and work a day job and all those fancy things that we have to do off the camera. Anyway, this video I'm gonna be covering my top five Nike pickups of 2017. Not an easy list to compile because it was a ton of great pickups that I feel like I got in 2017 from Nike and most notably, the ones that are not on my countdown, the Complex Con exclusive Air Force One from Stash. That one is not because it's actually in the wife's size. It's not technically my shoe, so I couldn't put that one really in the countdown. A runner up is the LeBron 15, which is a tremendous shoe, really, really dope shoe, and uh, just not in my top five. Would have been in my top 10 though. And two other ones that are not in my top five because they're kind of reissues of OGs. I didn't want to include these. I wanted to keep it fresh and new with five new models and colorways of shoes, not the OGs that we've already seen, which both of these are super dope though, uh, but still not my top five. The off-white presses was top of the list that would have been nice to pick up. There's so many other ones that I just didn't get, so I'm not including those ones in this countdown. Your five is definitely gonna vary from mine, but leave a comment and let me know in the comment section what is your top five pairs of Nikes that you ended up picking up in 2017. Without waiting any further, let's go ahead and get into the number five spot. So the number five spot goes to this pair of sneakers right here, these wild and crazy animal print Pippins from Kith. This Nike collaboration I think was super dope. And when I first saw that these could have been only friends and family, I was kind of concerned because I really wanted this crazy wild looking pair of sneakers. Uh, when I found out they were actually releasing in the second drop from this Nike collaboration, uh, I was really happy. And then I ended up getting them even better. So super stoked that I got these. Love the overall crazy animal print on these. And I think that the storytelling that, that Kith did and Ronnie Five did with Nike on that whole campaign was just super awesome. Especially for somebody that's been a fan of Pippin for so long, as you can see, one of my grails right here, the Dynamic Flights. This was awesome to be able to have a newer shoe that Kith ended up bringing to the market. And regardless of any resale drops or whatever, these things are super dope in my opinion. The friends and family pair would have been super crazy to get also. The kind of Air Max 95 neon. These things are too fresh and the number five spot in my countdown. Number four spot goes to the Pigeon Dunks that I ended up picking up, luckily, from the Nike Sneakers app. I met Jeff Stable when I was down at Complex Con. He gave me a little pin, and from that pin, I had an opportunity to buy these, but I struck out on that, and they sold out before I got a chance to. So when I was able to get these from Sneakers app, I was super excited. This is another shoe that the resales kind of dipped on. They released a lot of pairs of these. Even if these didn't sell out, this would have been a pair of shoes that I would have caught because I love the fact that Nike and Jeff Staple brought back the Pigeon in 2017. Uh, it was really cool to actually wait to see the images of the shoe and then see it's a pretty simple all black upper and you have the clay red sole and hits of that clay red on the front and the back with the Nike branding. I love the extra small details like the Nike logo right there only being shown in the red but the rest is all blacked out. It's a really simple looking shoe but done in such an eloquent way. I really like what Jeff Staple did with this dunk and the Nike dunks are like one of my favorite models of all time. I would take a Nike Dunk over an Air Jordan 1 any day, and that's just me personally. I know that's not popular opinion, but that is my opinion, and that's why these are number four spot in my countdown. So the number three spot is a pair of shoes that people love to hate, and that is the Nike Vapor Max. Not necessarily the off-white colorway, because I actually really like this colorway that I ended up getting as well. But the Vapor Max itself was a very interesting model for 2017. Definitely caused a lot of commotion because of the midsole. There was a little bit of squeakiness to the shoe and it definitely is squeaky on some floors. It definitely looks like a soccer cleat as well. They fit snug. But there's something about these shoes that keeps drawing me back. I wear them all the time. I like to wear these shoes. They're quite comfortable and it's a shoe that I've had in constant rotation since I bought. So I had to go ahead and put this one on the countdown because of the staying power of the Vapor Max. The hype is up and down on the Nike Vapor Max. Obviously, the peak of the hype was with the Vapor Max, but they do have other models with the Vapor Max sole as well that Nike's releasing. So 2018 will be an interesting year to see what they do with the Vapor Max. I know the shoe is definitely hit and miss amongst the consumers just because of the crazy odd look of the shoe, but it's definitely one that I had to include in my countdown. And because I've worn it so much, I had to put it in the three spot. So the number two spot on my countdown for Nike pickups goes to the ugly Christmas sweaters. I love this shoe. I love the original ones from back in the day when they started to tease images that they were going to be releasing a new one 
I got so excited and I wanted to make sure I got one for myself, one for the wife, and one for the kid. Mission accomplished, I actually ended up doing that. And I have all three of these. You can see the other two up in the backdrop. Uh, but these are just super dope to me. I would personally love to have 25 different Nike Dunk ugly Christmas sweaters that I could wear every day for the month of December. I just think it's such a fun looking unique theme and I'm a huge fan of Christmas. So these things are just too wild. Yes, they're ugly. Yes, they have a bunch of crazy print all over it and a bunch of crazy colors, but uh, that makes it even better in my opinion. So uh, kudos to Concepts for releasing such a dope shoe and I'm glad that they had another go around with Nike SB, the number two spot on my countdown. All right, so we made it to the number one spot, and if you guys are enjoying the content, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post content. Number one spot on my countdown goes to this crazy shoe right here. And I know this looks like the Zoom Fly, but this is the Zoom Vaporfly 4%. This is a super ultra crazy lightweight version of the Nike running shoe, or Nike racing shoe, rather, that is using Zoom X cushioning and it is something else. The Zoom X is such a crazy, unique, and innovative cushioning system that I really cannot wait to see more from Nike and what they end up offering us. I totally love this shoe. It is very, very unstable. There's lots of pros and cons that I mentioned in my review video of these shoes. But at the end of the day, like the cushioning and the responsiveness of this shoe is unmatched by anything out there. So there hasn't been a shoe in 10 years that I put on my feet that I've wanted to tie the laces on uh, just so I could wear them properly. And this is one of those shoes where I, I want to be a better, I want to be a better sneaker person and tie the shoes so I can wear these and have the support that I need. I think these are kind of a shining light of hope for Nike and the new technology and the innovation that they can bring uh, with this Zoom X technology and the carbon fiber plate. The springiness in the shoe is crazy. They are unfortunately not very durable as you can see on the bottom of the shoe. But I think that that is one of those things where if they started creating more of this in different forms, um, they could create them with better soles and, and whatever else. It's a technology that really got me. And I can't wait to see Zoom X more readily available on other sneaker models. But this one took my number one spot, even at that $250 price point, super expensive. You can get the little brother version of this, the Zoom Fly, and it is really, really good as well, but not as good as this one, even though they can look exactly the same. But that was my top five Nike sneaker pickups for 2017. What did you guys have for your guys' list? Leave a comment in the comment section. Curious to see what you guys had. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you guys want to watch other videos on my channel, click the screen at this time on mobile or on desktop and go peep those videos. And uh, appreciate your guys' time. Have a good new year and we'll catch you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace guys.